today I'm coming at you with some more um, front porch shenanigans. Uh, I am about to paint my hutch. I've gotten a couple comments on my channel that I need to paint my hutch. And I think the consensus is that it should be white, but um, I'm not going to do white. I'm going to do blue. I'm using chalk paint. Went to an antique store and they happened to have Dixie Belle chalk paint. So I was like, hmm. I probably took about 20 minutes to pick a color. At first, of course, I had white and I was like, I can't do white. I cannot do white. So I ended up going with Dixie Belle blue. And I think I am going to do some white in there. Um, kind of see as I go along how I like it. Um, yeah. I'm a little nervous because this thing is laminate, so it may not turn out very good. Kind of into this like funky furniture type ordeal all of a sudden. I've been seeing it on basically just like Pinterest, but I'm about to change my decor in my kitchen at least, possibly my living room too. I kind of want those two to match just because it's a trailer and it's one straight trip. Someone's coming. Hold on. Ooh, Some youngins ooh. on a four-wheeler. <sighs> okay. Anyways, um... Yeah, so I am going to go ahead and get started. I forget what I was saying before that. Let's do it. All right, so this is where I went ahead and started, so we'll see. I've got an idea. All right, I'm going to paint this top part white. This is going to be blue. These little thingies here are going to be white. And then the shelves I'm going to do blue. Or no, the shelves I'll do white. And then I guess this bottom part I'll kind of keep with the theme. I'll do that white and then like all the trimmy type stuff blue. Yeah. We'll see. I'm a little nervous. Here is the paint I'm using. It's Dixie Bell Paint Company. Um, Dixie Bell Blue and it's chalk mineral paint. This is made in the USA. I got this from an antique store up the road. But I know you can get this. Like I think it's pretty popular. Okay, so this is a lot harder to explain than I thought it would be. I probably am going to sound like I don't have a lick of sense, but what you need to do is put a little bit on your paintbrush. It looks like a lot, but it's not. And then you're going to take the paintbrush and keep smearing out what you put on there. Go in the same direction the whole entire time. I basically kept doing that until that section was pretty much all the way dry. Just keep going, going down. Go in the same direction the whole time and smear it out. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> All these pretty girls only want to be the same. So I think I'm going to do just like one coat because I like seeing the brown through it. Um, I don't really know how to explain the look I'm going for. Think of, I don't know how to explain it, but it's the turquoisey type farmy ranchy type style. You know what I mean? Unless I'm just like making it up myself. I don't know. Anyways, I think I'm going to like it. I think I like it where you can see some of that brown through it. I was thinking about doing black or white underneath it, but I think I like this brown coming through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to tape it off real quick. I didn't get the knobs on the door to come off, so I took the painter's tape and wrapped it around it and then used an X-Acto knife to kind of cut out exactly what I needed to be covered up so that there wasn't like a bunch of overhang like my belly <laughs> excuse that let it all hang out ladies saying that they love me but it always ends up painful you see it i see it's why i'm loving you it's why i'm loving you you're taking control of my head oh you're different ways than i like You'll see later on in the video and the rest of the spots that I kind of went lighter. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend going lighter with your strokes and with the amount of paint you have on your brush if you do this. Okay, so this side is still wet. I'm really liking the green with the blue. I wish I had green that color. But anyways, that's just tape. Um, I like the way it looks. Yay! So this is the actual color thing that I'm going for. The way the blue looks i like how it's streaky with the brown underneath show up close still wet some but this dries really really fast 
Anyways, I'm gonna go and finish. But we laying down in the sand, girl. The stars never looking so bright. If you feel it too, then just say so. I'll make you feel good tonight. I'll make you feel good tonight. Oh, oh, you might be the one for me. Be the one for me. apologize for the speed i filmed this in time lapse with my iphone and time lapse goes really 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 fast i did manage to slow it down some with imovie but it really it really doesn't slow it down much so hopefully you can kind of get the gist of it you know even with it going this fast i'm sorry about that all right so this is how it's looking so i don't know if y'all see the like idea that I have there. I, I think I need to like distress this a little bit. Door. I need to add a little bit more paint to these sections I think. Like right there. I don't know. It kind of makes it look. I don't know. There is a background on Canva <laughs> that this reminds me of. I don't know. I'm gonna take a break because my hand literally feels like it's fine. Alright, so now I'm using this interior paint. It's the same paint that I painted my excuse our lunch over there. Um, it's the same paint that I painted my table with, which I'm actually probably gonna end up repainting anyways. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of do like a really I think it's called like a draw brush method. I'm not really sure if it's the exact same, but I'm going to do exactly what I did with the chalk paint. Just get a little bit on the paintbrush and just like drag it. You know what I'm saying? Started with the shelves first because I needed to put all that stuff you see back in the hutch before the end of the day or it would have drove me crazy. Um, and so I knew that if I did the shelves first, those would be the first thing to dry. So I went ahead and did that. With the white paint, I did the exact same method that I did with the chalk paint. I just put a teeny tiny bit on the paintbrush and drug it out until there was no more to like, you know, disperse. I don't know what words to use. This is difficult to explain myself, but you get what I'm saying, I hope. If not, leave me questions in the comments. I will answer. <laughs> it might be easier that way. Okay, I could die. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this turned out better than I thought it would. I'm about to have a fit. That is laminate wood, and it looks like that. I gotta do something with that refrigerator. <laughs> Some phone behind me. I wonder if I can chalk paint the fridge. Y'all, I'm blown away at how this thing turned out. Look down here. Let me just zoom in. Ah. Yeah, buddy. I didn't paint the top because, you know, like decorations are going to go up there. Here's a side. I think that it looks awesome. I like this side better than the other side, so I may distress that other side a little bit more. But oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I could have a heart attack. I'm serious. Don't mind all the junk on the back porch. Look at there, look at there. How about that, y'all? Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I am in love with it. I'm literally blown away. Seriously blown away. I have been eyeing these two pictures at Dollar General for like a month and a half, maybe two months now. And for some reason, I just could not bring myself to buy them. I don't know what it was, but I'm glad I waited until the perfect moment because these match perfect with the hutch. I love them. They're so cute. Y'all go check out your Dollar General. They have some really cute farmhouse style decor all the time. I think they have some lanterns there that I'm eyeing right now. And they have a ladder, like a blanket blanket a blanket ladder that's really really cute and i think it's 18 bucks to me that's a little high but i may end up biting the bullet and going to get it because it's so cute y'all check out dollar general
see your halo Everybody going out, but you know that we lay low You have it, I need it, so I'm loving you y'all that's it for today's video this has got to be my favorite video yet i don't think i'll ever even be able to top it I, i'm just so in love i'm probably going to do everything in my house like this y'all watch out but anyways if you have any questions ask in the comments i'll do my best to answer them and let me know what you think of it also i wanted to just say thank you all for subscribing i hit 500 subscribers this morning and i'm blown away thank y'all thank y'all love y'all bye